guys up to? We heard mom talking on the phone the other day, and it sounds like dad might not be our actual dad. So we're taking DNA test. No way, are you guys serious? Yeah, she was saying one of us is adopted. Here's mine, Tommy. Thanks, Michael. I sure hope we're brothers. Billy, you really should take a DNA test with us. We get the results back instantly. I'll take one right now if you guys have an extra one. You guys don't think it's me, do you? I think it's a good possibility, Billy. You're the only one with curly hair in the family. And here you go. You're right. I am the only one with curly hair in the family. And I'm also the only good-looking one out of all three of us. I better take this. I bet it is, Billy. That's probably why he looks like Annie. You're right. Billy does look like Annie. But why would Mom pick him? I don't look like Annie. And of course Mom would pick me. I'd probably be the best one in there. Oh, man. It really could be me. Well, whoever it is, I'll sure miss you, because Mom said she wanted to return them. Are you serious? Mom said that? How could she do this to us? Here, mine's done. Hurry up and test us. The sun will come out tomorrow. Stop it, Michael! All right, let me see. Oh, no, this isn't good. Oh, no! Hurry up, just tell us who it is already! It's you, Billy. I'm sure we're going to miss you, Billy, but you better hurry up and go pack your bags. I don't want to move out! I can't believe this! <laughs> he actually fell for it. <laughs> I almost couldn't keep a straight face. I'll never get tired of messing with Billy. Boys, I can't believe you told your brother he's adopted and you made him cry. You're both grounded. Get up to your rooms right now. <laughs> totally worth it. Boys, it's time to get ready. We're going to Grandma's house in a little bit. I call first shower. I call second shower. That means you're last, Billy. Have fun getting a cold shower. Oh, yeah, well, guess what? First one to the shower gets in. <laughs> Billy, what are you doing? That's not fair. I called first shower. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Not my problem. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Tommy, are you kidding me? Why didn't you stop him? Now he's not going to save hot water for either of us. Trust me, I think there's going to be plenty of hot water left. I knew Billy was going to do something like this, so I left a little surprise in there for him. What did you do? Don't ruin the surprise, just wait. Fine, but whatever you did, you better hope it works, because I don't want to take a cold shower. Ten minutes later. Those beautiful screams means it worked. Wait till you see Billy. Are you guys serious right now? What did you do to my head? I put an air in your shampoo, Billy. This is priceless. I gotta take a picture and send it to Grandma. Stop it right now! Don't dare take a picture! I can't believe you would do that to my beautiful curls! <laughs> Billy looks like Mr. Clean! <laughs> Be careful. Walter White might call his friend Jesse Pinkman over to come beat us up. <laughs> this isn't funny, you guys! You're right, Kalu. It's not funny. It's hilarious! <laughs> I feel like you should be asking us deal or no deal. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mini-Me, can you move over a little bit? The sun is coming through the window and it's reflecting off your head and it's blinding me. <laughs> he looks like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great... You better stop singing that, Michael, or you're going to find out why I got a stripe on my white belt in karate. Calm down, Vin Diesel. It's getting a little too fast, too furious. <laughs> I'm serious, you guys! If you don't knock it off, I'm gonna have to teach you guys a lesson! Oh no, I'm so scared. What, did Popeye eat his spinach today? <laughs> For real, you guys! All it would take is one punch! <laughs> Watch out! It's one punch, man! <laughs> so much trouble, Billy? No, I'm not. Mom will just buy me a new one like she always does. No, she won't. You're not the youngest child anymore, Billy. You're the middle, middle child. That was the one and only iPad you're ever going to have. She ain't buying you a new one. And you're probably going to get grounded for like the next three months. Oh, man, are you guys serious? I don't want to get grounded. And I need Mom to buy me a new iPad so I can play Minecraft. What am I going to do? 
She's not gonna buy you a new iPad, Billy. You want me to just start knocking your teeth out and then you can save up all the money you get from that tooth fairy to buy a new one? No, I like my teeth. But let's keep that as a plan B, just in case. What can I do? Think, Billy, think. <gasps> I got an idea. Riley! Come here, Riley! Oh, hi, Riley. Come here, I got a present for you. Here, Riley, hold this iPad for a second. How about you throw it around or something, like a football? Hey, Riley, throw me the iPad. Oh, Riley broke my iPad. Billy. You really sunk to a new low. Blaming a baby for something that you did? Hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. Mom! Mom, hurry, come quick! This is never gonna work, Billy. What's going on in here? What's all the commotion about? I was sitting here playing on my iPad, and Riley came up and ripped it out of my hands, and that's when she threw it across the room, and she broke my iPad, Mom! Oh no! Riley, did you break the iPad? Oh, it's okay, sweetie. It was an accident. Yeah, well, an accident ain't gonna buy me a new iPad, Mom. How am I ever gonna play my games? I need a new iPad! Here, give me your iPad, Billy. I'll take it to the store later and I'll buy you a new one. She's just a baby. She didn't mean to. Really? Thanks, Mom! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting away with this. <laughs> I can't believe that just worked. Bro, I think Billy just figured out the golden ticket to get new stuff. You know what? My Nintendo's been acting up recently. I'm going to give it a try. Here, Riley, you want to hold my Nintendo? Here you go, Riley. A new ball to throw around. Go ahead, throw it. Mom, Riley broke my Nintendo. I got to get in on this. I want the new iPhone 14. Here, Riley, you want my phone? You know what, Riley? Maybe you're not so bad. <laughs> hey, guys, the craziest thing just happened. I think I have ESPN. What the hell are you talking about? Billy, everybody has ESPN. It's the sports channel Dad watches. Not that ESPN, you idiot. The other ESPN, the one where you can see the future. Billy, do you mean you have ESP? What? Ew, no, that's gross. I don't have to pee. Like I said, I can see the future. God, I shouldn't even ask. Okay, what are you talking about, Billy? How can you see the future? Okay, so I was playing on my iPad, and clear as day, all of a sudden, I got hit with a vision. I saw Grandma come in the door and throw a flip-flop at my head. Billy, Grandma does that to you every day. You don't have ESP, you have PTSD. Yeah, Billy, I think Grandma hit you too hard with her sandal yesterday. I promise you guys, I really do have ESPN. I can see the future. It felt so real. Yeah, right. If you can see the future, then tell us what happens next. Okay, so Michael was laying right there playing on his Nintendo, and you were sitting right there playing on your phone, and then Mom came in and said, Dinner's ready! And that's when Grandma walked in and hit me now with a flip-flop! Yeah, right, Billy. Go back to playing Roblox or something. Hey, boys, dinner's ready! See? I told you guys! My Pemperminton is coming real! Did you just call it Pepperminton's? Be quiet! Not now! Grandma's gonna walk in that door any minute, and when she does, I know what's gonna happen! So I'm gonna dodge her flip-flop! Hey, everybody! Grandma's here! Oh, hi, Billy! Oh, my gosh! She missed! I told you guys! I can really see the future! No way! I can't believe he dodged it! Maybe he really can see the future! See? I told you guys! And you didn't want to believe me! Think fast, Billy! <laughs> I guess you didn't see that one in your vision, did you, Billy? Oh man, I can't believe I actually believed you for a second. Come on, that's so Raven. Dinner's ready. Oh, Coca Melons! Hey, boys, now that Halloween's over, you know what that means. It's time for our matching Christmas pajamas. Yes, I love when we all get matching Christmas pajamas. That means Christmas is almost here. Oh man, I never get any matching pajamas. Okay, here we go, Tommy. These are yours. Oh, thanks, Mom. And, Michael, these are yours. No way, are you serious? You got me matching Christmas pajamas, Mom? Why wouldn't I get you matching pajamas? You're part of the family, aren't you? Thanks, Mom. Oh, man, I never got matching Christmas pajamas before. This is the happiest day of my life. I actually feel like part of the family. I think I'm going to cry. I'm going to go put them on right now, Mom. And last... Here's Riley's Christmas pajamas. Look how cute they are.
Mom, aren't you forgetting somebody? What about my pajamas? Oh, I'm sorry about that, Bobby. I totally forgot about you. Just wear the pajamas that you had last year. Who the hell is Bobby? My name is Billy, Mom. Oh, man, this is O'Reilly's fault. Okay, everybody, let's all go get our pajamas on and watch a Christmas movie. I'm down for that. I'll make popcorn after I'm done getting changed. I'm going to cherish these pajamas forever. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look how cute me and Riley look in our magic pajamas. Oh, well, I guess I still get to watch a movie. So what movie are we going to watch, Mom? What are you talking about, what movie are we watching? You're not watching any movie with us, Billy. Pajama Club only. You have to have matching pajamas to watch the movie. That's bull, Coca Melon. <laughs> this isn't over between us, Riley. One day, I'll be Mom's favorite, and I'll be the one with the matching pajamas, not you. <laughs> Billy, what are you doing? I'm writing my Christmas list so I can send it to Santa. I don't suppose you're writing one this year since you're probably getting coal again. <laughs> The only reason I got cold is because every time I do something, you tell mom on me and get me in trouble. That's not my fault. It doesn't matter if I tell mom or not. Santa knows when you've been sleeping, and he knows when you're awake. And he knows if you've been good or not, so be good for goodness sakes. Yeah, whatever, Billy. Yes, I'm all done. Now all I have to do is mail it to Santa. <laughs> and there we go. Mom, I'm all done. I just mailed my letter to Santa. I'm going to go watch Cocomelon now. Perfect. Time for payback. I'll be taking that. Yo, Tommy, I'm bored. What are you doing? Just getting a little bit of payback on Billy. I took his Christmas list out of the mailbox. No way. Are you serious? That's awesome. He's the reason I got coal last year. Move over. I'm helping you out. We're going to make sure Billy has the worst Christmas ever. Oh, I got a good one. Write this down. Okay, Michael, I think we're all done. Let's go put this in the mailbox and wait for Christmas. <laughs> everybody! Everybody, wake up! It's Christmas morning! Holy moly! Look at all those presents! Those are all yours, Billy, sweetie. Tommy, Michael, your presents are in your stockings. Oh, well, shocker. I got coal again. There's no way I got coal this year. I was pretty good. Are you kidding me? That's the second year in a row you boys got coal. You should start behaving and be good like your brother Billy over there. Billy, sweetie, you are such a little angel this year. I bet you Santa got you everything on your list. Yeah, Billy, open your presents up. I guess you guys better get comfortable then, because I got a lot of presents to open up. What is this? A Barbie? I didn't want this. Oh, it must have been an accident, Billy, sweetie. Open another one. Yeah, maybe Santa dropped it off at the wrong house. Are you kidding me? Another princess? Mom, I think Santa gave me somebody else's toys. No, he didn't, sweetie. I called Santa. He said that he got you everything on your list. Well, if that's true, then this has to be the new Coca Melon doll I wanted. A sewing machine? Who am my grandma? <laughs> Ouch, what's the matter, Billy, sweetie? You don't like it? No, I don't like it. And look, he got me a Trinity and Madison. I don't even watch Trinity and Madison. <laughs> we switched your list, Billy. This is the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> Billy, sweetie, come on. It's time for you to go to the salon with me and get a haircut. Oh, come on, Mom. My hair isn't that bad yet. Yes, it is. Look at your hair. It looks like you haven't brushed it in a year. Now, hurry up. We're going to be late for our appointment. Fine, whatever. I do like when Jessica shampoos and conditions my hair. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Guys, I'm back from getting my hair cut. <laughs> What'd they do to you, Billy? You look worse than when you left. <laughs> Billy has a perm. Knock it off, guys. My hair looks good. Here's some paintbrushes, Bob Ross. How about you go paint us a picture? Don't forget to vote for Pedro, Napoleon Dynamite. You guys aren't funny! Look on the bright side, Billy. At least you don't have to wear a helmet when you ride your bike anymore. <laughs> Did you boys make fun of your brother's haircut and make him cry? You're both grounded. Get up to your rooms. <laughs> it was worth it. Okay, we're here, boys. This is our hotel room. Oh, I want this bed, Mom! Damn it, Billy, stop jumping on the bed before you fall off and hurt yourself.
What are you talking about? I'm not gonna fall off my... See, what did I tell you, Billy? Okay, so me and your father will have that bed. Billy has that bed all to himself. And Tommy, you're on the couch. Perfect. I'll sleep on the couch. As long as I don't have to sleep next to Billy. Oh, what? And I got my own TV out here? Mom, what about me? Where am I going to sleep? Um, where do you think you're going to sleep? You're going to sleep out in the car here. Are you kidding me, Mom? I don't want to sleep out in the car. Let me sleep on the bed next to Billy. Look how big his bed is. No, you're not sleeping next to me. I need all this room to practice my karate. Mom, tell him he's not sleeping next to me. Michael, you're sleeping out in the car and that's it. Oh, man, I can't believe this. This sucks. Hey, Michael, wait a minute. I knew it. She was messing with me. I'm sleeping in here. Yeah, Mom? Since you're going out to the car anyway to go to sleep, make sure you grab everybody's bags out the back and bring them up. That's bullshit! Okay, boys, so we're leaving for Disney in 10 minutes. Here's the plan. I already got the lightning pass for It's a Small World because Billy wants to go on it and it's his favorite ride. Yes, I love that ride. It's a small world after all. <laughs> Then it looks like right after I can get the lightning pass for Haunted Mansion for Tommy. Yes, I waited all year for this. And then it looks like right after I can get the lightning pass for Dumbo the Flying Elephant and Peter Pan's Flight. Mom, what about Splash Mountain? Can you get the lightning pass for that? I really want to go on it. Be quiet, Michael. I'm trying to plan out our day. And then I can get the lightning pass for Astro Orbiter and Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Mom, I was just asking if you can get the lightning pass for Splash Mountain. Mom, what about Jungle Cruise? I really want to go on the Jungle Cruise ride. It's my favorite movie. Oh, no. It looks like it's all booked up. I can't get the lightning pass for it. But it does say that it's a 90-minute wait. So this is what we're going to do. Michael, while we're going on all the rides, you're going to go stand in line for the Jungle Cruise ride. Mom, I don't feel like standing in line all day. I want to go on the rides, too. Michael, why do you think we even brought you to Disney? We brought you so that you can stand in the long lines for us. Why are we go on all the other rides? That way we get to go on every single ride. Mom, are you kidding me? Does it look like I'm kidding with you, Michael? Okay, so after we hop in line with Michael for the Jungle Cruise ride, Michael, you're going to leave the line and then you're going to go wait in the Pirates of the Caribbean line because that is a 70-minute wait. And then we're going to go on Splash Mountain while we're waiting. And if my calculations are correct, we can go on every other ride while Michael's waiting in line for us. That's bullshit. Yo, Billy, mom said dinner's ready. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, bro? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm serious, Billy. Dinner's ready. Are you serious right now? Because I'm trying to play Minecraft. If you're not serious right now, I'm going to be real mad. Yeah, I'm serious. Dinner's ready. Mom said get to the table. Hey, mom, what are we having for dinner? Oh, we're having spaghetti and meatballs, sweetie. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, bro? We're having spaghetti and meatballs, bro. Yeah, I made your favorite dinner, Billy. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? That's my favorite meal right now. <laughs> I'm going to eat some meatballs right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Billy, Mom said it's time to go upstairs and get ready for bed. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? You think I'm going to go to bed right now? Give me that iPad. Are you serious right now? Are you really, really serious right now? You just broke my iPad! Ouch! Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm serious! I'm serious right now! Mom, it's time for bed! I'm ready for my bedtime story! I picked out this book about koala bears that I want you to read to me! Let me see that. And no, I can't read you a bedtime story, Billy. Aren't you a little too old for bedtime stories? But this is a perfect book for me to read to Riley for a bedtime story. Wait, no, that's not fair, Mom. That's my book. Give it back. And if you're reading her a story, then who's going to check under my bed for monsters? Billy, be quiet. I'm trying to read Riley a book. Monsters aren't real. What are you still doing here anyway? It's past your bedtime. Get upstairs and go brush your teeth before you get grounded. So koala bears also like to... Monsters are real, Mom! I'm looking at one right now! <laughs> oh yeah, well... <laughs> do you do, <too>, Riley! <laughs> my grandmother's senses are tingling. One of my grandbabies needs me. I better go. Hey, everybody! Grandma's here! Where's my daughter at? Oh, there you are! Ouch! What was that for? 
for, Mom? That's for not reading my grandbaby a bedtime story and checking under his bed for monsters. Now I gotta go find my grandbaby. Okay, there's nothing to be scared about. You can do this, Billy. You can do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too scared. <laughs> Billy, sweetie, it's Grandma. Yes, Grandma's here. Hi, Grandma. What are you doing here? I came to read you a bunch of bedtime stories. Really? Thanks, Grandma. You're the best. And can you do me one more favor and check under my bed for monsters? Of course I'll check under your bed for monsters, Billy, sweetie. Don't worry. Nope, no monsters down here, Billy. The only monster in this house is your mother for not reading you a bedtime story. But don't worry, Grandma took care of her. Now what book you want to read first? I want to read the pumpkin one, Grandma! Okay, everybody, now that we're home from Disney, I got presents for everybody. We all got matching family Disney shirts. Whoa, those are so cool! Here you go, Tommy. Oh, cool. It says brother. Check it out. And this one's for you, Michael. Oh, no way. You got me one too, Mom. Thanks. I actually feel like part of the family. And then I got your father one. And last but not least, I got your little sister one. Look how cute she looks. It says sister. How cute is that? What about me, Mom? Where's mine? Oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. I totally forgot to get you one. You can just get a white t-shirt and draw your own. Mom, my name is not Bobby. It's Billy. And I wanted a shirt. I don't want to have to make my own. <laughs> you think you're so cool because you got a family Disney shirt and I didn't? Well, one day I'll be part of the family again and I'll get my own shirt. <laughs> hey, what do you guys want to play? I'm bored. Why don't we just play tag? No, I don't want to play tag. Every time we play tag, I'm always it. And then I'm stuck chasing you guys for the next couple hours. Billy, that's because you were the youngest. You're not the youngest anymore. Riley is, so Riley would be it. Are you serious? I finally don't have to be it? This is awesome. Okay, let's play tag. Haha, <laughs> Riley, you're it. We're playing tag. I bet you can't catch me. <laughs> Try to catch me, Riley! <laughs> You'll never catch me, Riley! <laughs> Harry, Billy, run! She's catching up to you! She'll never catch me! I'll put on the burners! <laughs> run, Billy, run! This is the greatest day of my life! <laughs> okay, guys, now that we're done with tag, I have another idea. How about we play monkey in the middle? And you're in the middle! <laughs> Sure, why not? Throw it over here, Billy. Okay, here, Michael, catch! I bet you never catch this, Riley! I got it! Here, Billy! <laughs> You're never gonna get it, Riley! You're gonna be stuck in the middle forever! Man, this has been the best day ever! It feels so good not to be the youngest anymore! I don't have to chase people! I don't have to be the monkey in the middle! Now that's all you! <laughs>